Okay, so as you can see here, what I have is I have a, a model that I imported. So I'm just gonna place it in the right location. Oops. Move it 180 degrees. So I'm just gonna more or less set it where I want it to so I can see it. Um, okay. So the way that section work is that in the menu here, uh, on there. create right one thing that that's missing here is that I don't see the the option to do the the section cut and if I look here I don't see the mesh rendering thing so the first thing I need to do is that I need to go into my preference preferences and under preview I need to make sure that this module is on so okay I see that that's good so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Turn off the history. When I was going through it with the students, it was under sketch. That's yeah. where I seen the final one and under yeah, mesh. So, yeah, so now it's there. And so the first thing we need to do is we need to make a mesh. Uh, one trick that I like to do is I actually, if I use this little button, I can actually put the little the but the the things on top, so I don't have to hunt for them anymore. So first of all, we're gonna do a, a section. So we pick the mesh body and we can pick the plane we want to use. So here's the three planes we have a choice from. So we can make a section this way, we can make a section that this way, or we can make it from the top like that. So let's say that we do a section, we're going to try to do it uh, from the side plane over here. So here's one. There's one section cut. Let's do it right there. OK, so now in the, if you look at the things, there's a sketch with a section cut. Now, it only, it's only in the, in the mesh that the section cut was made. So I'm going to make another one. Again, we, we select the object and the plane. So and then this time around, we're going to do it kind of halfway through, maybe here. And then we're going to do a third one. So pick the object, pick the plane, then we're going to do it maybe down here. So it depends on the geometry that you have. So how many section cuts you want to have versus how many you need. So right now, there's all these three cuts right there. Now, there's no sketch. This is only, these are not sketches. These are just cuts. To make the sketch, I need to fit a curve. Um, so I'm going to pick the first sketch. And here's the three choices that I have. I have a, I can make a line, an arc, or a spline. So let's try it with an arc, first of all. So it automatically snaps to it. And if I kind of go like that, it makes, it places an arc on top. OK. If I continue to do it, I'll try to put another arc, but I'm going to stop it. I'm going to try it again. And this time, I'm going to fit an arc on this side. OK. Now, uh, I'm actually going to draw myself a, a I, I don't need to use the, the, the tool. I can actually make my own arc. So if I want to go here and say, make a three-point arc, I can connect these two and make an arc that sort of matches that. And I can do the same here down here. I can maybe make an arc. And I can here I'm doing it by eye, but that's okay because it just sort of gives you the general general shape. Once I'm finished, if I look at it now, now I have a, a sketch, I have the section, but I also have a, a, a line, a spline that that's made out of four sections. So let's move on to the next sketch. I'm gonna do the same thing. So now we're going to draw 
on this one. Let's hide the other two. So now we're going to be drawing on the second sketch. So here, let's kind of, uh, we can start with maybe making a line. Then we're going to switch over to an arc. We're going to do another, oops. We're going to do a, a third arc. And you see, it actually snaps to the shape which is what we want. And I can keep going, making an arc, and then maybe a straight line, like that. So here we have two, essentially two curves that we made. Let's do the third one. So we click there, we pick the fit the curve. Now we're gonna move it up. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna fit maybe a straight line followed by an arc followed by a, another arc because this is a arc shape followed by a, another arc like that let's uh you know we can also keep going and put another shape there Okay, so let's say that we wanted to fit this. Now, now that you have the, the three shapes, uh, let's say that we want to make a loft out of it. Okay, so if we go into the patch surface, which is the surface uh, tool, uh, we want to make a loft. So here's how our lofts work. You need to push on the plus sign, and you're going to pick essentially all the profiles. So one two, three, and four. Then I'm gonna make a second profile by, by clicking on the, on the bottom. And this is gonna be my second one. One, and as I pick the objects, you can see the, the loft will begin to appear. So I need to be close enough so I can see it. So there's my second loft. Now it's kind of a now here here's something there's some weird stuff happening here, but that's okay. We'll just keep going. I, I probably need to change that sketch a little bit. I can probably I should probably add more profiles here, but that just gives you an idea of how to how to make it. I'm gonna make a third one, and here I'm gonna pick this shape. So as, as I'm picking the curves, the loft begins to change. Okay. So here you have a surface. Uh, does that match what I want? Maybe not. Maybe this is not the best tool for this geometry, but it creates the surface based on the objects that I'm making. I should have probably just made a surface for the interior of this. Um, it, it's just because it's such a convoluted shape that it's hard to make a profile for this part. But let's try it with, um, let's try doing a different one. So let's try with them with this. Here's a helmet. So again, I can just position the helmet. And let's say we do a section cut. Here and another section cut, maybe. Oops, section cut here. I'm gonna copy that shape. And then we're gonna do one more, but this time we're gonna change over the direction of the, the loft, instead of doing it from the top, we're going to pick this plane. Kind of, let's get a side view. We can also change the direction, so we can kind of go like that. And then, you know, we're going to go right there. So now they're sort of crossing each other, which is going to be a little bit tricky, but 
We'll see what goes. We'll see how it works. So let's start with doing this one. We'll hide the body. We don't need the sketch. That sketch. So here, you know, here's our choices. Let's try it with the spline now. So in the spline tool, uh, make sure that I have the right sketch selected. Yeah. So that guy. OK. So one thing I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to uh, skip ahead. I'm actually not going to do the holes. I'm going to kind of like make a make an arc that touches all of those things. So for example, I'm going to make an arc that kind of goes like this to this point. And it goes like this. Kind of. Here I can probably use my my tool. Maybe not. Unless I use the Try it with an arc. So I'm actually not filling in this perfectly because I don't want I want to make a, a surface, but I don't want to I don't want to do the holes now. I want to do them afterwards. Now I'm gonna do this sketch, the one that's kind of over here. I can see where the intersection is, so. Let's start by doing in this case we'll do we'll, we'll do a spline because the spline will sort of match the shape closely. Here we're gonna do a, a line. Okay, so now we have Two shapes. Um, we can probably do, let's try doing this as a loft. So again, click here, we select these curves. Then the second curve will be this guy. And here's where it gets into trouble because the things are not intersecting. So we, we just need to be careful about how, how these curves are made. Might need a 3D sketch to do it. Let's see if it works now. Try it again. Oh, you know what? We can try this. Let's do a spline. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to kind of take the front view and draw in 3D. Make sure we have a 3D sketch. And then we're going to start there. Let's go to the front view. We'll turn on the mesh so we can see it. We're going to guesstimate where this mesh should be. Turn off the mesh. And then we'll make sure that it attaches there. So that's going to be a path. Uh, we can also do a path. Let's try again with another spline. And we're going to draw it here, but essentially we're going to draw in 3D. We're going to attach this guy to this curve and then to the spline. See if this works. Not very clean. Let's try doing connect this guy with this guy. Okay. So here's a connection. I think we need to break. Let's try this. Break. No. See if we can connect this guy with this sketch, like that. Now let's try doing it in the loft. Try doing a patch. See if this works. I think the, the problem is that I need to break the this sketch needs to be broken here. And then this would make one patch, this would make another patch. I, I could also try to make more sketches and then somehow figure let's uh, let's try this instead. Let's delete. Oops. Another section cut object. Uh, and I draw a curve. So let's turn off this. And you see, what you can do is you can try doing the loft from this curve. Let's 
to this guy. So that's a loft. So you only have part of the answer. And then the second type thing you can do is you can use another tool. So let's say that you try going into the, uh, let's go into the model form. So here we're going to just use our own, the other method of making an, a, an edge by making a face. So here, we're, for instance, we can try doing this, creating the, the face on the object. So, and then we're going to make another one. Um, that's not very good. Let's try it again. There's a face. Uh, we can actually make more faces by using the edit form and just make sure that the snap is on because what I'm going to do is I'm going to press alt and then it's going to make every time I pull it it's going to make a face and then I can make it fit if I go too far though it's not going to fit very well so you just have to go slowly to make it fit and I can go here and I can kind of do the same thing. Press Alt to make it fit and it should fit that surface. All to say that, you know, once you have this surface, if I go back to the patch and I turn off the mesh, I can see that I have, here's a, a, a type of surface, here's another one. I can actually join on them, you know, work to actually join them together. So it's a bit of a combination of things. Um, you can try doing, uh, here you can draw a curve and try to join it, or just simply uh, keep making patches. So there's different ways of trying to do the, put the helmet together. Um, my recommendation is that maybe the, the, the cross section is not good for these type of situations. I think the cross section works well for, like let's say if you wanted to make the, uh, the, the shape of the head, because that's an easy way, like it's an easy cross section. These cross sections are difficult, uh, especially when you wanna join them in with something else. I'm gonna stop now. Um, if you want to, have a look at uh, a video of, of this. I'm going to paste a link, but you can also go to, and I'm going to show you the web page. So if you go here, oh, oh. so I think you've seen this website. If you go to prototyping, here's a video of how um, how to use the mesh sketch feature. Um, it, it works well in a in a shape that's kind of like the bottle shape um, because it's a very simple surface. It doesn't work that well on the helmet, but you can try it and you can sort of it's a combination of things. Okay, so I'm gonna stop. Uh, thanks for watching and then if you have any questions just email me or contact Justin.